It's me! Good to see you back, Arthur. There we go. You'd run off to join the circus. Huh? A circus? No. You worried your mother half to death. Uh, I was fine. Really, I was. I ate spaghetti. What? Oh, it's Italian food. It's... I don't know how to explain. Was it nice? Yeah, really nice. And the people? They were nice, too. Everything was very... Well, different. I you slept in a bed in a room. Like, like a cage. No, no, no. More like a palace oh. in a story. How nice for you. Our little prince. <laughs> Boys got used to fine living now, Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> what could be finer than a home in a swamp surrounded by alligators? Very true. Well, little prince, tomorrow we begin reading again. <laughs> How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Adler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now... The trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> what the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover, or this the boys are coming!
Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep.
He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Good morning. You all right? Yeah, that was quite a mess to clean up. Yeah, in every sense. Not now, thanks.
Good to meet you. Sorry, but you're mine. I got some hook. <laughs> wow! You're coming with me. Hmm. Too much.
okay? Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Hey. Hey, what's wrong, Bill? You look uh, kind of confused, like somebody just asked you where the sun goes at night. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing, nothing. You'll freeze. Yeah, better be nothing. I, I love it when you talk to me so tough and well. manly. Thank you. Are. And you know, you make me feel like a little Mexican peasant who's got to be scared of the big American soldier. Now you want to start? Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to crack you. Why are you so you angry, me the right Bill? materials. You shut up. Shut up. Chicken shit, you know? No, I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Why don't you walk along and forget what you saw, okay? Damn. 
Serves him right. What in the name of... Spend it in your honor, boys. Okay, boy. Do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> you okay, buddy? No. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver-tongued American betrayed. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. 
I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere fire in Sipon. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like that. Well... I'm not sure about that. There, I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Hog, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. The rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my... Come back here. Listen, so I am a changed man. And 
Just what do you need that gun for? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told again. Clearly, contravene. Weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. there. 
one there. Hello? There you go, oh, friend. bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. Hi there, folks. Good day. Hello. Go. There's a new gang in this area. Bringing lots of problems. Ma'am? Hello. Sir. How do you do? How Hello. Do you? Bonjour. Hey, partner. Hello. Gentlemen. Howdy. Hey. Hello, ma'am. Hello there. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Hello there. Hey there. Monsieur? Hello. Hey there. I told you, I've been helping with this run, but it's only been. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault, his grandfather. A very good choice, sir. A bitter and jealous people. You can. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. There. 
Very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Uh, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Gly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. We'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. I heard that outlaw was screaming. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Looks like there's still an open seat, sir. Are you playing tonight, sir? Are you joining us? Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. 
Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. <laughs> so what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. I'm all in. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Ship. Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his well, own good fortune. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cake. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now... Forgive my lack of discretion, but, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh?
looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> You're the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. Brandy's not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take How'd back you? the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Roger. We gotta get out of here. Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Will be the end of us, decent. Friend. Howdy, fellers. Hey, morning, Hello. sir. Morning to you, Pop.
morning to you, sir. Morning. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more... ...or gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Hello. Seems to have it. That's the way of the world.
Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? Hmm. Been a while since you were through here. Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? Hey, boy. Help a blind man. Have this. Make your final moments your best moments, sir. No glory and forget about shame. All right, friend. Yeah. Please, I need to be alone with my thoughts.
came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Must be Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I, uh... Danbury. Think. Is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. It 
to get you. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
My friend, you there. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here, to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature thing. <sighs> I'll do my best. 
under duress. Uh, boys are so silly. Don't think too much about it. Just shoot. We're waiting for you. <laughs> Nothing to fear at all. Come on. Yes. <sighs> Now I'll stand on one leg! Me too! You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast! He emerged fully formed from the swamps, Helen! Silence, you blackguard! Sir, shoot the wretch! You're deranged. Shoot away, sir, my bottle and his brains! Please, at least I have... Excellent! Fine shooting. And now for me! Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Huh? For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much. Hey there, mister. Hello.
Hey, mister. Oh, hey, friend. You boys don't look so fresh. We ain't. I think we're dying, friend. We ate some bad mushrooms. Bad business, sure. It's been real tough, partner. So it seems. I hate to ask, but we need some medicine. Kind of fast. Medicine? Yeah, look at us. Look at me. And he's worse than he looks. Oh. Uh -oh. And he looks like shit. He ain't gonna last three days. And me? I ain't well. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I'm I'm begging you, partner. Oh. <sighs> uh. uh. I told you it'd help us. I told you. I told you, did I? You did. You told me. You told me a lot of things. We're gonna be all right, buddy. Are we? Well, physically. Drink this. I'll give it to Black first. No, no, no. No, give it to White. No, He's... no. Drink uh, this and shut it. up. Thank you. Oh, uh, oh that's good stuff. Ooh. But listen. Uh, I reckon you boys should get on out of here. Maybe split up. Head up north or overseas. They don't like groups of men. I know. I hear you, boss. It's time. Oh, once we're back. Oh, yeah, well, I agree. I mean, I, I can't wait to be rid of you. Embarrassing. Embarrassing? Yeah, you're an embarrassment.
Yeah. Good boy. Who are you? It's me. Good to see you back, Arthur. Hardest worker in camp. Someone's got to do it. disturb you. All right. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. I thought I was the butcher. You're covered in blood, man. Good job, Mr. Morgan. You okay, Jack? I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. You'll be okay, kid. Here, you good. On. Stole a necklace last week from a lady's house in the mansion district. I don't like Saint Denis. It scares me. Like a city built on. built on, I don't know what. Built on. memory. Whole place Morning, is all Arthur. about memory. It'll be okay, Molly. Built on lies. Okay. Wonderful. You're mad. Oh, hello. Hi, Tilly. Glad to hear it. Hi there, Javier. Miss Rinsoy.
Don't you have any warmer clothes, Mr. Morgan? You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, O'Driscoll's, oh, Pinkerton's. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. Only to our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. I got it. All right. Where is she? It's a sacked out in the swamp by the water. Hey, <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Oh. Uh, Would you please get them out of here? I can't stand a touch of and I don't want to ride them indoors.
away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Again, you my garden angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> okay, what are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> Okay, come on. Oh. Ah. 
I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I knew him. Please do not do that again. <sighs> now get moving, come on. <gasps> so, wait. You ain't sold none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of failures. Not so much. A new kind? The holy Lefay. We go through there. You're a long way from the ranch, cowboy. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? Thank you. 